F-47 is being built right now inside Boeing's billion-dollar secret fighter jet factory. U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin confirmed it. The world's first sixth-generation fighter jet, the F-47, is inside Boeing's secret assembly site. This jet went from contract award to assembly line in just six months. This pace is impossible. This speed is reckless. But there is a desperate catch. The U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff, General David Alvin, gave a chilling mandate. We have to go fast. The military is sprinting to get this plane online. The question is, why the rush? Is the F-47 due before the 47th presidency ends? Or is there another, more serious reason? Just three weeks before the F-47 production announcement, China staged a massive military parade, showcasing five variants of its most advanced stealth jets, including its new naval carrier fighter. This aggressive showcase of air power is seen as preparation for a critical deadline. The U.S. Air Force is racing against China's 2027 deadline. Analysts call it the Davidson Window. 2027, the year U.S. military leaders believe Beijing will be fully ready for major operations against Taiwan. From now till 2027, we have the Davidson Window, named after former Indo-PACOM commander Admiral Phil Davidson, who first raised the concern in 2021. Possibly, the F-47 fighter jet is being manufactured to meet this serious threat. To grasp the necessary scale, consider the limited operation Midnight Hammer, a strike against Iranian nuclear sites in June 2025. That single mission required more than 125 U.S. aircraft, including seven B-2 bombers and dozens of refueling tankers. Fighting China, an adversary far more technologically advanced than Iran, demands exponentially more resources. China is known for its ability to quickly produce large quantities of aircraft. By 2027, China is expected to outnumber U.S. fleets in key areas. The F-47 fighter jet is being built to solve the biggest problem America has. That problem is fighting a war very far away from home. A retired Air Force general named Clint Hynote gave a clear warning. He said that if the United States has to fight China, the battle will likely happen in their front yard. This means the fighting is far across the ocean, a major challenge. Because the distance is just so far away, China can use many more fighting tools and aircraft than the U.S. can bring easily. Because of this problem, the U.S. military runs computer war games. When American pilots fight against these bad odds, the games do not end well. Defense officials say the war games don't turn out very well. And we lose. We lose lose. To even have a chance to win, the U.S. Air Force must achieve a huge advantage. They need kill ratios of 10 to 1, 15 to 1, or even 20 to 1. That means for every one American plane lost, the U.S. must shoot down 10 to 20 enemy planes. The Air Force knows the way they used to fight is not good enough anymore. The Air Force must change. The F-47 is that change. It is the new sixth-generation fighter, built to give the U.S. the huge advantage it needs to win battles far from home. The clock is ticking. The selection of Boeing to build the F-47 Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD, contract in March 2025 was a major industrial shock. Lockheed Martin, the established master of modern stealth technology, responsible for the F-22 and F-35, was widely considered the front-runner. Lockheed Martin expressed disappointment with the outcome. The competition to win the F-47 contract was monumental, and when Boeing secured the Massive Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD, award, they immediately began a breakneck construction phase. The F-47 program is one of America's deepest secrets, and Boeing has officially stated that technical details remain classified under national security laws. This means the exact factory location is kept secret. However, we know exactly where the money went. 
Boeing made its largest ever internal investment to win this job, and it's all tied to its existing military manufacturing hub. To handle this project, Boeing poured nearly $2 billion into building a sprawling 1.1 million square foot classified production facility in St. Louis, Missouri. Though Boeing already builds its F-15 and F-A-18 fighters there, this huge expansion was built specifically to support future combat aircraft programs, leading many analysts to believe this massive, super-secret facility is the industrial engine for the F-47. To solve the timeline crisis, the Davidson window of 2027, Boeing didn't just build a new factory, they built a cheat code a new way to manufacture fighter jets. Traditionally, developing a complex new fighter jet involves three slow phases. First, the development phase, EMD, where years are spent creating physical prototypes and performing costly flight tests to catch mistakes. Next, low-rate inel pixel production, LRIP, begins, making a small batch of aircraft to test the assembly line and finalize techniques. Finally, full production starts. The F-47 skips most of that physical prototyping delay through digital engineering, also known as model-based design. Instead of painstakingly building a jet just to crash it, Boeing built the entire F-47 inside a computer first. This allowed engineers to virtually test every component and system, shrinking the development phase to the absolute minimum and letting them move straight to manufacturing the very first first article for flight testing. This ability to instantly transition from simulation to assembly is why the F-47 build was able to start so fast. Furthermore, this production speed is also driven by five years of secrecy. The Air Force revealed that its experimental X-planes, which tested the F-47's NGAD technologies, were already flying secretly for five years before the contract was even announced. These demonstrators accrued hundreds of hours of flight time, meaning the core F-47 technology was proven and refined years ago. This has allowed them to instantly move from simulation to manufacturing the very first full-size piece, the first article for flight testing, proving why the build was able to start immediately after the contract win. This speed is necessary because the rules of air combat have completely changed. Historically, fourth-generation fighters like the F-15 won through raw maneuverability and speed. The fifth generation, including the US F-22 and F-35, and China's J-20 and new carrier-based J-35, made stealth the number one priority. But the sixth generation, F-47, changes the definition of lethality. It's not primarily about turning radius in a close-in dogfight. It's about sensor fusion, extreme range, and network dominance. The F-47 must dominate the beyond visual range fight by flying at speeds over Mach 2 and covering more than 1,000 nautical miles, a necessity for the vast Pacific. To achieve this while remaining invisible, Boeing had to precisely manufacture the immense, tailless blended wing body and master the complex, shielded, geometric exhaust nozzles that hide the jet's engine heat from infrared sensors. This leap in lethality is required because the U.S. faces a massive numbers problem. The U.S. Air Force operates the world's largest fleet, currently around 2,094 modern fighters. However, Analysts warn that China will likely outnumber U.S. air fleets in key regional theaters by the crucial 2027 deadline due to their industrial scale. To counter this, both nations are racing to field their next-generation systems. On the Chinese side, two parallel sixth-generation efforts are already showing prototypes. The large J-36, a heavy, tailless Delta designed for deep strike, and the smaller, tactical J-50 stealth fighter. Furthermore, they are rapidly developing their own drone wingmen, showcasing large, tailless, unmanned air superiority fighters like their Type AB concepts, and smaller, collaborative combat aircraft drones, Type C-D, in parades. The U.S. counter system, NGAD, uses the F-47 as the commander, 
the Air Force plans to buy at least 185 F-47s, but its real strength lies in its ability to command over 1,000 CCAs. These drones are designed to be cheaper, expendable assets, missile trucks, that augment the F-47's firepower. The two competing designs are the YFQ-42A by General Atomics and the YFQ-44A by Anduril. The ultimate showdown is not between two jets, but between two entire systems. Can the F-47's superior stealth, range, and AI-driven command of its drone swarm overcome China's rising numbers and technological ambitions before the critical 2027 deadline? So here's the question. Should the US build faster, no matter the cost, or slow down before speed becomes a risk? And if one F-47 can command a thousand drones, how long before the pilot becomes optional? If that made you think, share this video with one friend who loves military tech or hidden mega projects, because conversations like this deserve to be seen. Subscribe to Mega Projects Uncovered, where we don't follow the noise, we uncover the truth behind the technology shaping tomorrow. Thank you for spending your time here. You chose to understand the world a little deeper, and that means everything. Mega Projects Uncovered.